such it's kind of out of place in this game honestly but I don't know that's kind of the reason that I like it it's like I don't know portals are all science fictiony and stuff and this is a typical RPG all right what is this this looks like something loads of body language and emoticons but no actual text Is that the ocean? Does that look like an ocean to you, Creighton? Actually, I don't know, it could be a lake. The, uh... Water that's apparently down there, the reflections and stuff. But, yeah. The end of the world. If you haven't seen a picture of, like, um... Where the Golden Sun World, it literally has an end, like, where it just cuts off and the water kinda dumps over the side. It's... interesting. All right. The elemental stars. They really exist. The elemental stars exist. Please explain. The foundation of all matter. I'm pretty sure there's more than four elements, but yeah. And I'm pretty sure none of them are named fire, wind, water, and um... Whatever the other one is. Earth. Yeah. I was in chemistry class for two years. This is kind of better in my brain. And no, I didn't fail. One of them was AP. Earth is Venus. Yeah, that's um, Mercury. It's fire. I mean, fire, water. Alright, maybe I really... Alright, whatever. Mars, that's fire. And lastly, whatever the last one is, Jupiter. Did I spoil that Jupiter? That's wind. Okay. Why are you getting so excited? Yeah, really. Right, well, I guess that's... yeah. That would be looking at... I don't know. I'm trying to think of something. Galileo's original telescope or... Something of that nature. Alright. The stones dominate everything. And that is alchemy, yes. Tr uh, kind of scroll past it fast, but turning any metal into gold and, um... Uh, bringing about immortality in some form or another is pretty much, uh, what alchemy in every story roots back to. Harry Potter and, uh, Sorcerer's Stone and whatnot. There's another book that I read, but I don't remember what it was, and it kind of had alchemy in it. Anyway. You can say what the truth is. My foot's falling asleep again. I really don't want to go through that again. Huh. Okay, that makes sense. I'll go for that story. Although I, I'm still not entirely sure how you could have been living right at the foot of Mount Ayla for however long and never found this place. It really wasn't that difficult. It looks slippery. Yeah. What would happen if you fell in that water? Is it like heavily acidic or basic or something and you would die as soon as you make contact with it? Like that purple stuff in New Super Mario Bros. In the New Super Mario Bros. game? I do not even know. But we're going to get it because Jenna's too lazy or something. And he gave us something. What are those bags? Mithril. You know what? Because I can. This has been bothering me for a while though. What is Mithril? Oh, it's from Lord of the Rings. Alright. Yeah, it pops up once in a while and, um. Mostly in games. I wanna say, uh. Yeah, it was in the Egg Battle Fantasy series and, uh. While I was looking it up right there, I saw a couple of links about Terraria, but yeah, alright, so it's a mythical uh, <clears throat> metal from J.R.R. Tolkien and the Lord of the Rings stories. Anyway, we've got that, and we've got to go and uh, take the elemental stars and put them in it. 
So we can come over here, but that dead ends. You can see those pillars down there are kind of sunk into the sea and uh, can't progress. There is an order that you have to go through here and, um, and take out the stars, and that'll kind of activate the uh, the ledges that are inaccessible. <coughs> Ignore me, please. Uh, the ledges that are inaccessible right now. Let's see. Come down here. I think this is the first one. Yeah, this looks like it. Can talk to that statue. Whoa, that does not look good. That happened. That happened. That happened. But in the end, we got ourselves a Venus star. Alright. Good, now fetch the others. I wonder, is uh, no, not that fun. If you want to inventory, yeah, you do have the Venus star in here. Hmm. Got a couple of bags of mythical uh, ore. Let's see, I think we come over here. And this should open up the path, yeah, to the next one. That's where we just were. Over here. No, not that button. Ouch, actually I was facing the wrong way. It's kind of weird pressing the A button, which you would usually use to interact with stuff and having to open the menu. Uh, I never really got why they did that. The B button... Is the B button not to anything? That's a Mercury star. Yeah. Great, and you're so excited. Come on, release the character. Yeah, the B button isn't mapped to anything. I wonder why they didn't put the uh, this menu on the B button instead of the A button. Or maybe my cartridge is its effective, but yeah, we won't pretend that's true. Alright, so we can come over here next. And we can talk to this. And a couple more things will come shooting out of the water. Yay! I want to say this area- whoa, that's a weird coloration. That's, a uh, Jupiter. Is that normal? What's going on? Oh, you idiots. Sateros and Minardi. Yes, I like to say the name Sateros. Half rolling my R's and half not. Alright. Aren't you the ones who stole our information? No, I think you're the ones who are talking about it right in front of us, so... Don't blame me. Yeah, what will you do? Huh. Fine. Who? I'm sorry if I'm scrolling through those texts too fast. It's just kind of a habit. I tend to speed read when I uh, play video games. That was our agreement. Well, relative speed reading. I'm sure there's people who have actual methods to do it other than just kind of screen capping the picture with their with their um, eyes. Yeah. What are we gonna do? Do you wish to save your friends and give us the elemental stars? That sounds like a Death Eater thing. Give me the prophecy or watch your friends die or whatever the line was, Mr. Malfoy. Yeah. If you don't know me, I'm a bit of a Harry Potter nerd. Guarantee. You will have to remove your mask. Who are you? You look ridiculous. Now that I'd slow down and look at your picture. Especially with that, like, 16th of graphics or whatever the technical specifications of the GBA are. I think it's 16-bit. Under the circumstances... Yeah. Felix? Isn't that the guy who died a couple of videos ago? Yeah, I think so. It can't be. That day, the boulder, we saw him die, right? Yeah, there was that graphical glitch on the screen that actually didn't come up in the video so I ended up looking like a fool when I was talking about it. Yeah, I remember that. Yep, it's definitely him. 
Is he like a zombie or something? Alright, I guess not. That doesn't sound like something a zombie would say. Especially since he implies that he survived. Really? Huh. So, Felix, how you been for the last three years? Haven't heard much from you. I guess this isn't really the time to be catching up on details. I thought you were dead. Yeah, even they agree with me, see? It's the elemental stars, I don't feel like it. Never. Yeah, that's true. You're a butt. You almost pushed me into the water. Oh, hey, how you doing? Who are you? Alright, well, way to go, Gary. You just gave a... You just gave something away that you weren't really weren't supposed to. So, yeah. What are what are what exactly are you doing? <laughs> you want us to get the other one too? All right. Well, we can. Uh, I guess our options are either to stand here or do it. Stand here indefinitely, or just do it. So, it doesn't leave us that much space to move. So we might as well do it, even though I really don't want to, because that doesn't seem like the most trustworthy person um, of all time, but... Alright, that was when you talked to that again. No, you can't talk to it again. It's deactivated. I don't believe you can come up here, can you? Ugh. Just barely out of range. Alright, we're going to have to be uh, going all the way around the room to get to that last uh, Mars star over there. So, I know, I guess I could speed this up by a little so you still sounds like I'm talking normally, but it doesn't take forever. It probably will take forever anyway. Or I can just, like, find something or other to ad lib about for however long I need to. Alright, let's see. And here. And over here, and the last one. And the screen is shaking. Actually, it was more flashing than shaking, but yeah. Got the Mars Star. Yep. I don't know about you, but I don't like the way this is turning out. Whoa, what the crap is that? What happened to the water? Not again. Again? What do you mean by again? Yeah. Have you done this again? Is this a terrible retribution the villagers spoke of? Maybe. Looks kind of like the end of the world, as people usually uh, tell about it. What is that? Yeah, that's a thing. What does that remind me of? It's playing some game and there's something that looked like that. Oh, the eyeball thing in Kirby. Except it's talking to me. Is it? I know it's a rock, stupid. The wise one. It's not talking to me. Alright, I thought it was talking to me. Now it's looking at me, which I like even less. Alright. Well, I guess this brings, um... Giving someone the evil eye a whole new meaning. Although it's not necessarily evil yet, it hasn't exactly done anything except show up, so... We're gonna match for the Guardian. Mars Star will have to wait. What about Isaac and Gary? Can't just leave them here. He won't make it. Oh, thanks. But Satoros. Yes, I am just looking for an excuse to say that name. I have problems. We'll take this Jenna with us. This Jenna. Oh, I don't even know where to start on that one. Regardless, Kraden has come with us. Oh, shut up. I don't, I don't like the... Fine. But I like Kraden. Fine. Whatever you say, you crazy people. Yeah, that's probably true. Ugh. 
There's funny sound effects and whatnot. Perhaps we ought to continue elsewhere, Felix. Felix. Yeah, I got something in my eye. Perfect. All right, first it was my foot falling, so now it's something in my eye. Eyes. All right. I'm in very good shape here, aren't I? Let's make haste. Don't push my sister. Who do you think you're talking to? Well, since you're the ones who started the whole thing with the uh, storm and the rock falling, I'm not sure if I'd go that far. Yeah. Since it's kind of your fault that his life required saving in the first place. That's a weird subject. Like I said earlier, it's not one that you usually come across in kids games. Or ones that are perceived to be kids games anyway since it was published on the Game Boy. And they say that kind of derogatory, but I like the Game Boy. If it wasn't for that, we probably wouldn't have the DS, at least not as we know it. Alright. Don't die. Thanks. I love it when characters in any media tell you that, it's like, yeah! By the time people say that kind of thing, it's usually a little out of our hands, isn't it? I don't know, maybe it's just me, the Mars star. Perhaps. Knowing the habits of video games, we probably will be seeing you again, that's for sure.